Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 2. Alright, uh, the previous episode was kind of a recap episode. Uh, not a recap technically, it was a uh, episode which made us, uh, like which introduced us to all of the characters again. Uh, and a lot of other characters we were kind of like, um, like it was like our memory was kind of refreshed of like what powers each like you know each character had what was their name and stuff because it's been all almost like one year that the season four ended so like in season four uh, like also had one of these episodes you know like which had which was kind of like a recap thing so something like that so nothing much it like showed us how their teamwork kind of you know like in improved like how much it improved and what like they can do with it what new techniques they can like make uh, like use of them together like combo attacks you know all of those stuff it was that and in the end there was a little bit uh, like little thing like uh, where like end of her like saved the whole uh, town but then came Darby and I'm not sure what happened in the end like it seemed as if Hawk uh like you know like hawks was with them with endeavor but then like uh, we see endeavor in the hospital and then in the next scene we see like <coughs> hawks with the villains i'm not sure what that actually was i'm sure we'll get the answer in this episode so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number uh two of my hero academia season five so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Alright, so here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so end of her. Right, what, ac what actually happened here? Oh, damn. Oh yeah, he killed his, his name was Snatch, okay. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, I, I'm sure like Hawks is like being blackmailed or something. Oh. Oh, oh, who is this? A new character? Hopped over. Damn, this. Ujiko. Okay, so that lady's name is Ujiko. Damn, we have a. Okay, damn. Okay, his name is Todoroki NG. I did not know that. Oh boy. Oh, so then why is Hawks? I thought Hawks like got blackmailed or something. That's why like he's with Dabi. Like in the end, you know what? the previous episode oh so there's more about this like okay mystery damn bakugo looks like bakugo's costume changed doesn't it like at least in this opening he looks more covered up i think <laughs> like you know I think you should show a little bit more skin before but now he's like all like covered up <laughs> a lot of new characters like I'm, I'm sure we'll meet them 
and I think they are uh, the other uh, classmates or something uh, like from the other classes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, are those like uh, the people they were like showing? Were they like also the inheritor of <coughs> one for? Okay. Okay. Like like Lil Girl. I'm sure we'll get an answer. Oh, what? Wait, what? Plan or something? Plan? Oh my god! Wait, what? They they're working together? Oh my god. Wait a minute. There was one thing you guys remember like there was a whole thing with a traitor inside the hero. So is the is the traitor Hawks? I'm thinking of the league. Yeah, he is. Uh... Oh, I cannot let. Oh, maybe. Or maybe he's double crossing him. You know, like he's acting like this and maybe he's like going to drop, double cross the villains. Ah, uh, there you go. Thank you. All right. So he is not a traitor. Thank God. Okay, okay, so yeah, as I said, like he's, he's going to double cross them. Technically, it's not double crossing, but he's like acting as a spy. Damn. Oh, this is a dangerous job, you know. Does Endeavor knows this that he is acting as a spy? Or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't know. Ah, he remembered. Oh my god, he's bleeding. Whoa, vestiges. Did he get some kind of burn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Yeah. Okay, that's fast. So. Oh boy. The proposition. Yeah, exactly. Like they're like saying, telling him, and then saying that it's a proposition. Okay. Well, at least they're honest about it. Whoa. <laughs> End of her, like action. Damn, too fast for my own good. Okay, wow, he is. Like, he is like a person, what can I say, like, like everything is on him, kind of, like, a bit bad in a way for him, but, you know, someone has to do the dirty job. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! Fuyumi Todoroki. Yeah, they're matching now, <laughs> you know? Oh my god, it's awkward. Awkward atmosphere. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, well... Okay. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, well, Well, Shoto's pretty fine now with, like, he talked with Endeavor, yeah. I'm sure, like, uh, like Nasu also needs to talk with Endeavor just like Shoto did, you know? Like, they kind of came into a, comp not compromise, but a discussion. Okay. Come on. <laughs> well... Yeah. Okay, they're like kind of divided in the whole thing. Oh my god! <laughs> he has merch now? <laughs> yeah.
Mm. Yeah, but he needs to start working on the father endeavor, you know? Like the dad dad portion of him. Dad and the husband portion. Okay. Yeah. So like Yeah, you should say that I'll do better from here. Like forgive me and I'll do better. Like, can't do anything about the past, you know, like that's something that has already happened. So just like, atone in the future. Okay. Oh. Oh, is he like seeing the dream of all the other inheritors of yeah. Okay, so we can see the faces now. Yeah, before we saw only the silhouettes, now we can see the faces. All right. Damn, look at them. The first one looks... Yeah, there, there are two more. Wow. Seven, okay. Eight. Oh, what the? Oh, this is the first. Yeah, all for one. Yeah, this is his brother. Yeah. This music is so freaking, I don't know what to say. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he is
So he took his power and gave it to him. Okay. <coughs> Damn. Wow, what what a thing to say. Like Oh. What the Oh, he's another one of his lackeys? Okay, so I'm sure like, this is the time when Alpha One gave him the power. Damn. Okay. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, I I didn't do anything. My friends did it. They yeah, it, it made me happy. So happy. <laughs> wow. Good. Like Damn! What a... What a comeback! Okay. One for all. Yeah. Okay. Long pass singularity point. Okay. Oh boy, here it is. Yeah, this is like, I think it was like the last episode of season 4. Oh wow, that went quick. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, we got, a, got to know a few things, quite a few things in this episode. Uh, new things. Uh, first is the situation of Endeavor and Hawks. Now, <laughs> the way they ended it in the previous episode, it feels as if like either Hawks has betrayed them or he uh, is like being blackmailed about something. That's why he is like talking with Dabi. Either of those, but turns out neither of it like neither of it is the case. The actual situation is a little bit different, which is he's acting as a spy and. I am not sure if Dabi really is tricked, really has been tricked to think that, yeah, this guy, that is Hawks, is actually working for us. I'm not, you know, like completely sure because Dabi seems intelligent. So did he really buy the whole thing that, yeah, Hawks is working with us? Does he not suspect him that maybe he's going to double cross us? Like that's one thing I am, uh, you know, like kind of thinking about that. Like, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I'm sure we'll get 
like clarification after this all right that's the end all right so yeah it's as i was saying um in the beginning we see oh we meet a new um character uh pro hero mirko she seems like a like i don't know like a, a bunny girl like she has bunny ears in her head okay and she's pretty buff you know like so, so i'm guessing like her main uh, power is like you know super power hero power is like strength or something or maybe uh, oh, oh no maybe she can like jump like a rabbit or something she said something like i hopped here yeah that must be it you know like the way sh she entered the scene it was like where was it just let me check yeah she's like jumped you know so i'm guessing her power is something related to uh, jumping like a bunny or something like you know like uh, she, like she can call like close huge distance like supersonic jump or something i'm not sure but anyways that's just my guess um and yeah <clears throat> and then we see the next uh, uh scene where like endeavor now here is this place where i was conf like not confused but i was a little bit you know like uh thinking that uh so like in the previous episode i thought oh maybe uh he blackmailed endeavor you know about uh, not endeavor uh, blackmailed hawks i'm talking about Dabi blackmailed hawks about something and you know like uh took him with him and uh, maybe uh, hawks has been blackmailed by Dabi uh, or something like that but then in this episode they were kind they showed us that oh nothing happened like Dabi has himself went uh, like you know ran away from that scene then i thought so what the hell actually happened like did like hawks really betray them and then it suddenly struck in my mind that there i think it was in the second season or the third season i'm not sure which season it was but there was a whole thing with a traitor like there is a traitor or a spy within uh, the heroes or something like that then i thought oh maybe is, is hawks a traitor or something but the way he acted in season um like in the previous season season four you know like in the end when like he like talked with endeavor and we saw both of them interact i really was confused as to like uh he like it seemed as if he really has the uh, like good intentions in his mind hawks he's not a bad guy that's why i was thinking like like why like how is he even the traitor like is he really that good of an actor or something and then we get the full information i'm like glad that they explained it in this episode uh, that um hawks he is acting as a spy now um <clears throat> and we also kind of got a flashback here that is uh i don't know like uh, the flashback was i think like it was uh like like hawks like saved a few people and uh, the hero association kind of like you know, decided to recruit him quickly and something like that like he is like as he said that i will like accept every dirty work that you give me and i'll save everyone something like that it's like uh you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of itachi from naruto like it seems as if hawks is really like that like you know a good a really good person but he has to do these kind of dirty jobs just so that like you know his uh, friends and all his fellow hero you know uh, members would be okay like it's a, it's a sad fate but like nothing you can do like uh, like there are people who have to do this like you know these kind of dirty jobs just so that the others can be safe the sad uh, like fate that they face but yeah and uh, then uh, okay uh, and then uh, we get to the next scene where we um, see endeavor and um, his family members now as i said that her like their mom and uh, the sister they for forgave him kind of i'm guessing and shoto like talked with him and they kind of came to a, like they did a, like a discussion and they kind of came to a like you know like a conclusion about the whole thing and i'm sure like they're fine like shoto and endeavor they're okay with each other but that's not the same thing with natsu you know like natsu uh, never had that kind of conversation with endeavor so he still has this kind of a grudge on him which i can't blame him for obviously and as Endeavor said that, uh, not, not Endeavor, as Shoto said that you are the top hero. Like that's a thing that you're going to definitely do well. But you should also like, you know, think about the father portion of you and the husband portion of you. 
so be sure to like keep that in mind as well and which Andrew also like said that yeah I'm going to try my best and he said that I like I apologized to uh, Natsuo but I did not say the actual thing that I want to stop like say to him the actual thing being I'm, I'm guessing like I'll try my best to be better from here onwards so yeah like apologizing is something like, you know like if you do something wrong you should apologize that's part of it the next part of it you should definitely say that okay I apologize for what I've done and i'll try my best to be better from here onwards and not repeat the same mistakes again uh, yeah and i'm sure like uh, they'll come to uh, you know understanding like natsu and endeavor i think uh, they are the only you know, two like you know uh, people from the, like endeavor's family who are still kind of like in a uh, what can i say like this kind of a situation where like they don't uh, are unable to interact with each other properly like Natsu hates him and uh, Endeavor is like you know cannot like interact with him properly and uh, they'll have to interact you know like interaction is the first thing that you should uh, do in these kind of cases and like I'm sure like in like all these years like Endeavor never really cared about it you know the whole interaction portion so he's going to have a real tough time here he's going to have a real tough time but I'm hoping he will overcome it and like they'll become a happy family. Like, you know, like you cannot like change your past, but you can change your future. So you cannot do anything about uh, what you've done in the past. Those were like mistakes you've made and you have to accept it and like make sure that you don't repeat them again. So yeah. <clears throat> and uh, uh, okay then oh and that guy who uh like in, in the previous season that guy who like like supported endeavor you know like in the middle of the streets he said that like why the hell are you guys like talking like this he's like you know like he's trying to save us and you guys are bad mouthing him like what the hell like that guy i don't remember his name but uh <laughs> he got famous <laughs> he got like he got famous and like he has now much <laughs> Like the like his merch is like selling like you know those cups and like those t-shirts like what <laughs> oh my god like you know internet fame like <laughs> it happens quickly no one knows when it strikes when it will strike you but yeah yeah <clears throat> um okay and then uh, oh and then in the next scene we come to uh, Deku and his um what was that uh, the vestiges that he called the uh, like a power within within him uh, <clears throat> and we could see uh, nana with like we could i think we could only recognize one person properly that is nana shimura like she was obviously beside deku because like uh, oh wait a minute oh i'm guessing uh, all might was not there because he is still alive I think yeah that's why all might was not there i i really like it's like sit my mind i didn't even think like uh, like where was all might so all might was not there with th them because he's still alive so okay like uh, all might was not there and there was like nana shimura and after that there were a few others a uh, few other um like heroes who who, who were like i'm guessing like his predecessors <clears throat> Uh, okay, I'm I'm like trying to see how they look like like because uh, all of the like, you know previous seasons We've never saw them properly like all were like it was like all silhouettes uh, <clears throat> Okay, where is that place? Okay, here it is. Uh, we can see um, How many of them there are okay, they're like beside Nana. There's this guy with some kind of like goggles in his head like and he is quite you know buff he has some kind of a I'm not sure what that is like some kind of belt and he has like shoulder like armor or something and then we beside him we have a guy who looks like i don't know shino from naruto <laughs> like you know that that whole coat with like it like facing the face the thing up to here and yeah he like like that's him and then uh, beside him there is another guy who is 
who has kind of a scratch mark in his eyes <clears throat> and now here's the thing beside that guy there is this like golden guy i'm not sure what who he is like but his face is not shown properly like after this the faces are not shown properly this guy and there are two other guys beside him and uh, the golden like you know the guy with the golden aura um he i don't know like he looks pretty what can i say like important <laughs> by important i mean like like he might be pretty relevant to the story later on i'm not sure but i i feel like it i might be wrong and like this guy we don't cannot see his face properly but we can still kind of like you know uh like see what he looks like his face like you know facial structure his body structure but beside him the two other peop uh, like people we can't even see how the structure you know body structure is like there are two other person beside him there's like one uh, dark colored purple colored silhouette and there's one dark red colored silhouette so uh yeah okay so how many are there uh nana shimura one uh all might uh first guy second guy third guy fourth fifth um and I'm guessing, uh, like the first person that who was like, uh, you know, um, like the the the, the brother brother of <clears throat> Alpha One. He's also there. Eight with Deku. It's not, so Deku is the ninth one. He kind of explained it, but I still like like double checked it. All right, and <clears throat> and then we get to see the past. Uh, I'm guessing that was like uh, a. Like, you know, uh, some kind of, um, like, what can I say, like, remaining, like, you know, vestiges, as they said, of the past. And in the past, we can see, like, obviously, like, the brother of um, <coughs> All for One, he did not have any power. We knew that. He did not have any power. And he, like, really opposed uh, All for One. And he, um, and then we can see a thing, like, All for One does one uh, one thing. There's like this one guy who has this like his quirk is going out of control. He, he absorbs his quirk, which is obviously the, his power, like absorbing other quirk, and he like bestows it upon someone else. Uh, bestows it or bestows some other power on someone else. Uh, I'm guessing he was using both all for one and one for all at the same time. Was that it, or maybe, or maybe not? Maybe that was some other power. I'm not sure uh but because you know like he took his power that means that he is using all for one at that moment and he's bestowing his power to someone else which is no no that's not one for all one for all is a little bit different okay so he used all for one at that moment but he used i'm sure he used some other kind of you know quirk he has within him to like bestow uh, the power into the a person who does not have any quirk or something uh, like that so yeah and uh, because you know like, uh, like at the beginning i was thinking like oh so is he using one for all at that moment you know like when he is bestowing the power upon someone but then i thought that no that's not possible because one for all is a different type of power it's not something that uh, it only helps you give the power it's not that one for all is not that one for all is something that you bestow it upon someone which increases you know like your power goes to him and then he after bestowing it to someone else the like it accumulates the power and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger that's the actual like property of one for all uh so that was quite different so i'm guessing like obviously because he like uh he has all for one he can like absorb a lot of quirks so i'm sure like there's some kind of quirk which like like makes you uh, be able to bestow uh, quirks on other people so i'm sure like he used some kind of like something like that to bestow the power upon a quirkless person and that's how like he made these kind of lackeys you know like who would come to his help whenever he called them and even like when he did his bad deeds and <clears throat> in the end we see like uh all for uh one uh bestowing uh, the power that the quirk that is one for all to uh, his brother uh, which is the beginning you know the beginning of this whole thing uh, like how like he started bestowing his power upon others and like he started growing exponentially and like strong getting stronger and stronger and stronger and now Deku has it so yeah and like 
uh, I have to say like the one for all the power is pretty damn impressive in a way you know because it's not just that you are like you know bestowing your quirk upon others it's that you are bestowing your powers and all the other people who have bestowed it upon you that power also gets added to it so it increases it's guessing I'm guessing all for uh, one for is all is something like that so you know so like Deku can like uh, like see and feel the people you know within him all the people who were connected in a way so that's why he can like see these kind of pasts in his like you know uh, dreams and all so yeah it's pretty damn impressive and if he can like unlock 100 percent of the power he like deku will become a uh, real you know like you can already see all might's power all might was like like fought toe to toe with uh, uh, all for one so like after like all might like bestowed the power upon deku just imagine how strong he will become deku will become if he is able to unlock 100 percent of the power so yeah that's something like <laughs> i like i'm looking forward to so yeah so yeah that's it that was this episode so that was an interesting episode uh, a lot of like new things came up and uh, a lot of new information a lot of you know things we got to know and yeah that's a good start you know and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching this was uh, my hero academia season 5 episode number two so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out but uh, no spoilers and yeah so oh my god my camera is tilted what the hell okay it feels weird anyways so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next uh, uh, in the next week with another episode of my hero academia so until then goodbye and have a nice day